Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Courtney Grayton, a creative, natural hair stylist, and educator. Over here on my side of YouTube, you will find expert information that will help you with caring for your locks and other lifestyle content. As you can tell by the title of the video, today we're gonna to be talking about the difference between two strand twists and coils when you're starting your locks. Now, as a loctician, this is a topic that I talk about literally almost every day. A lot of people just come to me confused. And so that's where I come in today. We're gonna to go through the two strand twist method first. And if you are looking to go straight into getting more information about the coils, I'll have timestamps below for you to kind of go straight there. I do wanna preface this video with further down the line, your locks will most likely look the same no matter which one you started. Um, between two strand twists and coils, obviously there are other methods as well. If you have not yet watched my video about questions to ask yourself before starting, I would recommend that you go there first because that'll give you even more information about starting your locks and then come back to this video when you get to the point of asking yourself specifically, do you want to start with two strand twists or do you want to start with coils? I would say that two strand twists and coils are definitely the most popular ways and so that's why I'm going to use this video to dedicate specifically to those two. It does not matter which one you start with in the long run because your locks will most likely look the same. That's what I've seen in my experience. I would say that two strand twists have become a lot more popular amongst my clients. If they have hair that's longer than four to five inches, they want two strand twists. You really only need more than like four inches to be able to twist. Now, anything shorter than that, you kind of run the risk of it unraveling because you can't really put it in a style. A lot of them choose to strand twist because they're able to see their length a lot more in the beginning. Most people don't really want to have to deal with all the shrinkage that comes with coils. The twists tend to fall a lot more. People who are nervous about the starter lock phase, which I call the starter lock phase, some of you may be more familiar of it as the ugly phase. That's something that I just will never call it on my channel i like to say the starter lock phase because that's exactly what it is it's not ugly your hair is going through some changes because you're putting it through some changes and it's going to do its thing right frizz is natural frizz is normal with locks and loose natural hair so it's not an ugly phase to me but people who are nervous about the frizz from what i've seen is that when the frizz is on the two strand twist versus the coil people prefer the frizz on the two strand twists over the coil. This two strand twist method is also very versatile for loose hair and damaged hair, which if you were to coil hair that does not coil on its own, whether it's damaged or not, it's just really gonna be a hard process. <laughs> it's just much easier to go ahead and two strand twist. The other thing about two strand twist is that it's a lot more texture. And I have people who come to me to say, I don't want that much texture in my locks. So then they go over to the coils. But for people who don't really mind too much texture and the curly lock look is definitely very popular right now. With the two strand twist, you have a lot of that texture in the beginning. You kind of see bumps and lumps within your locks. Around six months or so, six to seven months or so, a lot of that begins to go away. Obviously, it varies with your texture. I have some clients who are seven months in who still, you can still see some of that two strand twist look. And then some other clients with like more thicker 4C hair like I have, where that two strand twist look can go away within like the first three to four months. Just keep in mind that you will have more texture locks and if that's not something that you want, then you might want to go into coils. And again, we're gonna get into coils in a little bit, so keep on watching. Two more things with the two strand twist that I definitely want to mention. If your hair is not completely coiled and if you get two strand twists, you have to understand that there's a tendency for there to be some unraveling and you kind of have to manage your own expectations when it comes to that. You'll have to make sure that you're keeping your hair kind of pinned up or styled so that that unraveling doesn't get to be too much and every time you go get your hair done, your loctician is basically starting at zero. A lot of times it happens around the temple and the nape areas where the hair tends to be just a little bit looser. Around the middle is where most of our hair gets coarser in general. It's drier there, it's coarser. So a lot of times you don't really have a lot of unraveling in those areas, but definitely around the temple and nape areas. If you manage your expectations up front, and I'm glad you're watching this video to do that, you can go through the journey with a lot less stress. Now, with your loctician, if they understand how this works, they'll just make sure to continue to put that twist back in every time that you come in and eventually that unraveling will stop as your hair kind of tangles on itself. Another thing is that if you really want thicker locks, I would definitely recommend the two strand twist method, especially if you want that thick look in the beginning. And 
it does kind of matter with the products that you use specifically for me i use a twisting cream something that i would use for like a twist out or whatever if you watch my do's and don'ts video you know that i stress i'm using lightweight products all the time and especially when i'm starting locks because i really want the locks to be fluffy i want them to expand in the most natural way possible so with the twisting cream that i use it's aloe vera juice based it will be relaunching later in the year so make sure that you stay tuned on my channel for that but that twisting cream really allows the hair to expand and typically my clients who want thicker locks they are able to imagine what their hair will look down the line because their twists expand to the size that they want their locks to be so we're going to go ahead and get into coils and I will say that even though two strand twists have risen in popularity amongst my clients in general around the world I would still probably say that coils are the most common because that's what people have used to start locks for years and years and years but I will say that coils help to evenly distribute the hair so if you've ever seen anyone create a coil and I'll try to find a video to show you all if you've ever seen anyone to create a coil I'm literally using the comb to go with the hair's natural curl pattern. The teeth of the comb really evenly distributes the air to create a perfect like cylinder and what that does it allows the hair in the lock to kind of fill in within that cylinder and it tangles all up in there and then so you have that outside cylinder but then as your hair begins to bud and shrink up inside of the cylinder it feels and i'm hoping that makes sense but that's how you start to get a lot of the budding in you know a few months in you're able to kind of feel along the coil and notice that in certain areas it's bulging um hair inside of the coil has like tangled up on itself and i do believe that coils tend to lock faster because of that reason and i'm sure that's why locks have been so popularly done with coils because it really does create the perfect environment for a lock to start if you have like two to three inches of hair you're not able to two strand twist your hair it's just too short and it's going to keep coming out it just doesn't make sense to do in the two strand twist so if you have very short hair anybody that you go to will recommend doing coils it helps to keep it intact it doesn't typically unravel much if you have type 4 hair coils i mentioned shortly earlier in the video that coils really work best for hair that is healthy i would never recommend coils for straight hair or even hair that's very close to straight even if it's a loose curl if it coils up on its own coils are fine but if your hair is straight or damaged coils just really won't work because that straight hair is not going to coil like so you're trying to create a shape on the hair that it doesn't already have. Again, I'm hoping that all makes sense because obviously it makes sense in my mind, but I really wanted to make sense to you all too. If you are looking to get coils, your hair should naturally coil already on its own. In contrast to the two strand twists, as I mentioned, um, two strand twists typically show your length a lot more. Coils definitely shrink up a lot, especially when you're putting water on it. And when you do start locks, you want the hair to be wet. So it's going to coil up, especially when it dries. Your hair needs to bud. Your locks need to get a little more heavy for them to fall down. If you have shoulder length hair or you want coils because you like the look of it, later down the line, you will see your shoulder length hair back, I promise you. Along that same line, coils typically look a lot skinnier because they're shrinking up. They look skinnier in the beginning, but over time they will expand. When you come back and get your hair washed, obviously it's going to expand. And just over time, as you continue to go back monthly, your hair will continue to expand to get to the thicker lock that you want. And one more thing as far as the coil, it's typically recognizable as locks up front. So anytime I've gotten coils, people automatically assume that I'm starting my locks. I go and I'll be out in the grocery store or whatever and people are like, oh, I love your locks. I'm like, these are just coils. So I will say that if you are going for the lock look up front, you really want them to look like locks instead of just like you put some twists in your hair, then coils are probably the better option for you. Um, people will pretty much recognize them as locks up front, especially if you have like a certain type of parting because people are so used to seeing coils as locks. Lastly, as I'm wrapping this video up, I want to say that if you are still kind of stuck, even after watching this video, you're still kind of stuck between the two and you have some time before your starter lock appointment, I would say try both styles. You can go to your loctician if they do natural hair or even if you were able to do it yourself, put coils on your hair, leave that in for a few weeks, see what the freest starts to looks like. Then take that out, put some twist strand twists in your hair, leave those in for a few weeks, see what the frizz starts to look like. Whichever one you feel most comfortable with, whichever one you felt most beautiful in or the one that you felt like fits what you're going for the most, 
do that when you're starting your locks. That helps you to be able to manage your expectations. You're not going into it with like blinded eyes, not knowing what you're going to look like, not knowing what your hair is going to do. If you try them out ahead of time, it will greatly improve like your success rate, your happiness levels when you're starting your locks because you already know what to expect. So I'm not going to keep you all too much longer than this. Please let me know down below if this video is helpful for you. It is one of the most requested videos that I have. I really hope this video was helpful for you all. I'm so happy to be back in the swing of making these videos. If you have any other questions, I know you all want product recommendations and I promise you, I promise you, I promise you that it's coming. But any other <laughs> recommendations that you all have as far as video topics or anything like that, definitely leave them below. And if you all want to see any more lifestyle content, I just moved into my own apartment and I'm so excited to be in a new environment for me to create. It's my first time living by myself and I'm going to be adopting new kitties in a few days. So if you all want to see any of that, definitely let me know below. I thank you so much for your support. I'm definitely at around like 11,400 subscribers and I'm just so appreciative of the opportunity to share my knowledge online and be rewarded for it. Thank you all so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.